Cascading Logic with Pamela's new workout. Typically, logic is an operation applied to only two signals. But with PANS, we can cascade the operations down through any and all of the eight outputs. This is because each operation pulls from the operational output of that earlier output instead of that initial signal in that channel, allowing the logic to build up going down all the eight outputs. If you try to use logic from a later signal, it will only pick up that initial signal and not the operational output of that signal. So let's say to start you want some ratcheted half notes or something. So there's the half notes. And let's say really fast. So that would be a ratcheting speed. Go to logic and we'll do and one so it's only when they're both high. So we can build on this now with the third output, applying it to the second output. So we could throw in something more offbeat and give it some offbeat. And then we can just logic this to two and we'll do or two. So anytime those are high. And you could do this all the way down the line to eight or you could skip some and just keep going down whatever you wanna do. So this is a full weird beat I made with all the eight outputs um, building up on each other, making a more and more complicated drum snare pattern. So we'll start with the kick going. And you see with the first two, I just have a basic snare pattern with a little offset. And then as we go down, Builds up slowly, so we go down to the six. And if you automate a little bit of um, uh, velocity or something like that, you could get some real nice, like ghost note snares, things like that. And then you have a little like drum fill sort of thing in seven and eight. And then you could throw all those into a sequential switch or something like that. So here's a simple thing I set up where each one is on the same um, time and is set up to eight steps uh, Euclidean with one trigger and then I just offset each trigger so each one is firing on a separate beat. So it gives you eight separate pulses on each one and this is what it looks like when you logic or to the previous one of each one. So we get a nice trigger for each one. So I used that idea of the eight step sequencer and quantized each one to a harmonic minor scale and then gave each one a specific level. 
So when it's high, it's going to be putting out a specific note. So basically a overcomplicated eight step sequencer. Um, I put the last output um, through to rings right now, and I gave each one about a 95% width. So it still gives a little bit of trigger at the end to trigger the next note since I don't have a trigger on this. But then we can apply chance to each one by giving each one a little bit of a skip percentage and we get something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> 